uh, right now joining us is Kevin Jackson. He is the executive director of the Black Sphere. He's a frequent guest on this program. Kevin, as, as you look at, at the sun is coming up in Baltimore, and we can see that there was a lot of craziness going on there. Uh, mom and pop businesses burned out of business. This morning, the sun's coming up. A lot of people are, are uh, rolling up their sleeves, and they're trying to clean up to get things back to normal. But this is a mess, and they got a problem. Yeah, it was rinse and repeat of Ferguson. I mean, the, you know, you got uh, kids that have done exactly what happened in Ferguson. Uh, Baltimore acts as if they didn't know what could possibly happen when they had a boilerplate for this. And with all due respect to Bo, it wasn't just what happened Saturday. They've had plenty of other instances to look at as to what was probably going to happen. And the sad part about it is it doesn't have anything to do with this kid, Gray, who got killed. Sure, you know, there needs to be an investigation and all these other things that are happening. But the real issue here is people are opportunists, like Al Sharpton, who's yeah. headed to Baltimore, and they've decided, you know what, this is our chance to profiteer on something that the, that the justice system should mete out. But, Kevin, but they're not going to do that. And to Bo, too, uh, do, you think it's, do you think it's right to have this period of time? It has happened, this incident happened with Freddie uh, Gray, uh, 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 April 12th. Should we have an answer by look, April look 12th? Can you by what happened in South Carolina uh, and nothing happened? Honestly, after? you know, what happened in South Carolina, we all agree with that. That cop should have been locked up, prosecuted, sent to jail. But we know this mayor is supposed to be the CEO. She knows there's a tinderbox. She knows there's young kids there are not happy with a lot of things. She should have came out publicly and said, we are investigating this thoroughly, and we will have answers for you. Tell people something. Don't just leave people in an abyss and not tell them what's going on. And that was yeah, now the word went around to all the kids, oh, these cops are going to get away sure. with murder. They're not going to get away with it, murder. They'll be bigger, prosecuted. Look, look guys, it's, it, it's bigger than this. There's thuggery that's being condoned in America. It's Pavlovian in the sense that every time somebody black is killed, we have this type of a situation. This should not be happening. No. There are many other people of all races that get killed by cops, sometimes unfortunately in cases, and sometimes who knows what's, what this investigation will, will finally come out. But at the end of the day, we burn down cities, we, we mess with innocent people's investments and livelihoods because of this. Kevin, this is race profiteering by, at the highest level. Kevin, your dad, what do you tell your sons today? I, I, look, people should be raising their kids to obey the law, to follow, let the process, f f you know, figure itself out and not just jump to conclusions. And again, I don't know what's going to happen here. If the cops are wrong, I hope they put them in jail. I hope they throw them under the jail. We, but Kevin, we cannot. Kevin, yeah. we have kids in Baltimore there. Ninety percent of the young kids in Baltimore that are being killed are being killed by other black kids on the street. That is our problem also. And we should be demonstrating peacefully about kids killing kids there, gangs killing kids. That's what I'm all about is saving the young well, kids there. No question. Look, guys, the biggest problem we have here is exactly what liberalism has done which is put these kids in highly concentrated areas, black neighborhoods, give them no opportunities, not, not educate them mm -hmm. properly, and then wonder what's, they don't have sure. parents, they don't have fathers, they, their mothers are in, you know, single moms and things like this. And then we, we incite this type of violence because Barack Obama doesn't speak out, Eric Holder hasn't spoken out, I don't know if you're going to see Loretta Lynch speak out. And what's interesting is they're mad at the system, mm -hmm. and the very system they're talking about is a black mayor, a black police chief, and I, who knows what the cops that were involved. Sure. So th you, they act as if the white man is against them or the, the system is against them, and it's a system that they've been in, that's been installed by liberals. Yeah, you make what such more a good can point, you right. ask for? It, it certainly is not the same as Ferguson. Uh, Bo, you've been talking to us over the last couple of hours. Yeah. And what's interesting is, as we watched it all unfurl yesterday, was the restraint the cops had in not going after the people yeah. who were breaking the law. It looked completely I lawless. Think, but you know why? It's because they had made a decision based on politics rather than on public safety. I, I, don't, think exactly it was the, right. I don't think it was the cops' decision. I really believe that that came down from City right, Hall. It's politics. Not, not to make arrests. Don't make it worse. But you know what? If you don't go in there and stop it, it just get, becomes its own life. And we were watching. I was on the news till 11 o'clock last night. We were watching. It was stealing cars throwing stuff at fire engines, cutting hoses that were trying to put fires out. At what point do you say that's enough? Well, they were given Good. space well, we, to we, destroy. We're, 
We're well beyond that point, and Bo is exactly right, and Steve was a great question. We should, cops should be able to do their jobs, and, and as Bo said, nip these things in the bud, and the problem is they've been completely handcuffed, yeah. pardon the pun, into doing anything. Yeah, don't worry, we have a curfew tonight. That's yeah. your restore order. <laughs> Well, that, that's no, me. So no, the curfew things. tomorrow night. No, well, it's tonight, it's gonna be 10 o'clock, yeah. 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 Last night we couldn't get the curfew going. Yeah, but where is, now where is all these poor store owners and all these people with their business, they put all their life savings They, not, they don't have insurance for this. Destroyed. They don't have insurance. Destroyed. I hurt for those people. I don't hurt for these young kids yeah. out there. I hurt for those people that made their lives around their businesses. These are Americans, man. They should be protected. And by those cops not going in there, they were not protected. It's heartbreaking. Ask yourself, ask yourself, ask yourself if you think that people are going to want to put businesses in those types of neighborhoods because Ferguson's going through it right now. Mm. Nothing's been done to help those people. You're right You're about right. that, Kevin Jackson. Mm. Thank you, and Bodie. Fox News alert, police finally taking back the streets in Baltimore. This